Hi, Imogen. Hello. Charlotte and Nathaniel. Hi, Karen and Aria. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Shania. Hello, how are you all doing? It's raining again today. Hi, Olivia and Seb. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Stephanie and Adam. Hi, Jackson and Katie. Lovely to see you all on here. Hi, Carly, Rose and Kayla. Hello, Riley. Brilliant. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Michael and Emma. Very good. Hi, Nihana. Hi, Shania. And we've got Joshua and Daniel and Juliana as well. Brilliant. Lots of you on today. Hello, hello. Okay, another... Well, it was a nice morning. I got over the beach today with the dog, so she enjoyed that. Except she did find a dead seal. Um, that wasn't very nice. But it was a nice walk. Walked all the way along the beach and back. I made sure I had my gloves on though, because it was a bit chilly. And then raining this afternoon. So hi everyone! Good to see you. What have you been up to today? Anything interesting? Or just the normal schoolwork? Hey? Well, we have some things planned today. But first of all, I want to let you know who won the game yesterday. So... For our game yesterday, we had to move the, use a straw to move it, and I think with the most points was Chloe with 34. Oh, Michael and Emma, you've been playing with the Lego today. Fabulous. So, you get the prize. Now, just behind them, you were beaten by one point in second place was Adam and Daniel. So you got 33, so well done you guys. And then I thought I would give a prize to the preschoolers as well. So with 15 points was Nathaniel and Finley. So well done you guys. Lots of schoolwork in the smart house. Oh my, have to keep you busy somehow, don't we? Lots of schoolwork. Everybody doing schoolwork this morning. Is it all finished? Yeah, you finished for the day? That's good. Okay, so today's game is our guessing game. Now, I have played Pictionary and I have played Shadows. Well, today, I'm not going to do either of those things. I'm just going to put an object in front of you and you've got to guess what it is. No, that would be too easy. So, to make it a bit trickier, I am going to put it really close to the camera, like this. Can you tell that's my finger? And you've got to guess what it is. Okay, so when you guess what it is, you type it in as quick as you can. I have lots of objects here. Some are miniature, so it might be something big, but I've got a miniature one of it. And some are just normal size. So, we are going to start with our first one. So, are you ready to guess? Ready to type it in, guess the object? It is coming. Here it comes. It's going to come down in front of the camera, but it's going to be a bit blurry because it's going to be far too close. What could it be? So here it is. Oh, oh dear, what's that? Oh my, that's hard to guess. Can you guess yet? Here we go. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, now. Can we guess now? What is it? What is it? Anyone guess? What is that? Oh, can anyone guess what it might be? I'll move it a little bit further away. Have you guessed yet? Have you guessed? It's upside down. It is upside down. Well done. It is a clock. And, but yes, it's a watch. It's got a strap as well. Did you see the strap? It is a watch. Well done. Good guessing. Brilliant. Okay, I have another one. Here we go. What could this be? Well done. We've got a watch. Oh, it's nice and pink. Oh, it's got a hole there. It's a bit strange. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, me, what's that? It's got a hole in it there as well. Oh, is it a tricky one? What could this one be? Can I move it a bit further away? Can anyone guess? I can do this, look. Oh, 
Oh. A crocodile. What could it be? What could it be? Anybody guessed yet? Anybody guessed? What could it be? What could it be? It is. Yeah, you're right. It's a peg. Well done. Good. Hi, Finley. You've joined us. You won our prize for getting 15 yesterday in our competition. So you can ask your mum for a prize. Well done, you. And then we have got something else. I better be careful not to show it to you. What is this one? Oh, right. Long black thing. Oh, and then it's got blue. Oh, weird. What could it be? Oh, oh it's got lumpy bits on it. And what's it got on the other end? Oh, something a little bit fancy on the other end. What might it be? Any guesses? What could that be? Brilliant. Excellent. Oh, Finley, you'll have to tell me what the prize is. What's your mum going to do? What is it? What is it? What is it? Yes, it is. It's a birthday candle. Well done, Michael and Emma. You got that one. It's a birthday candle. Brilliant. Okay. So, what about this one? This is a miniature. It's not actually this size. Ready? Okay, here it goes. Oh, it's got black. And it's got... Oh, what's them? What could that be? Oh. Oh, it's got a middle bit. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Oh, yes. I think you've got it. Good guess. It has got a wheel, but what else? What is it? It's not just a wheel. Oh, lots of people guessing wheel. It has got a wheel. But what is it with the wheel? Anybody guessing what it might be? Oh, lots of people guessing wheel. Yes, well done, Kai. It's a bike. Well done, Riley. A bike. It was a bike. Good guessing. Just a miniature one. Okay, next one. Right, what could this one be? Oh, can we guess? Oh, what's that? Oh, this is a miniature one as well. It's not actually this size. It's normally bigger. Oh, what could that be? What could that be? Oh, some legs. What could that be? What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Oh, can you guess? Can you guess? Anybody guess what it might be? It's a miniature one. You normally find them outside. Yeah. It is a cow. Well done. Carly Rose and Kayla, it is a cow. A unicorn was a good guess. It did have a horn, but not a unicorn. Well done, Riley. It is a cow. Good one. Right, what about this one? Here we go. What could this one be? Oh. Oh. Strange. Has it got... Like... Oh, there's lots of sticky out bits. And then it's got a long... pole. What do we think that could be? Any guesses? Any guesses? What could it be? This is a miniature one as well. Not normally this small. Yep, yeah, well done, Kai. It's a brush. Brilliant. Well done. It is a brush. You've got it, Kai. -in. Well done. A brush. Right, here's another one. A broom, yeah, a broom would be... Yeah, what about this? What is this? Oh, it's yellow. You want to see? Oh, and it's got some... Oh, what could it be? Anybody guessing? Yep, Shani, you're right with the brush. But what is this one? What could it be? Oh, it's a nice colour. Anyone got one this colour? Yes, Riley, you were quick. It is a car. Brilliant, well done, a car. Okay, what about this one? Oh, red. Anyone guess what it could be? We got a guess. Oh, should I move it a bit further away? That's hard to guess, isn't it? This is, this is real size, this isn't a miniature one. 
This is real size. What could it be? Oh, it's coming further away. It's coming further away. Anyone guessed it? Yeah, you've got it. It's a rose. Well done. Kyan and Aria, a rose. Brilliant. Good guessing. I have two more. Are you ready? Here's a miniature one. It's not normally this size. It's got, got these again. Look. Oh, oh, it's big. It's red. It's got... Oh, what are those? But it also has... A bit further up. Oh, what could that be? Any guesses? What could it be? It is, you are right. Yeah, it's a bus. Well done, Shania. It's a bus. Oh, you're so good. One more, one more. My goodness me. Right, see if we can get this one. A miniature one again. Okay, what is it? It's orange, black, and white. Orange, black, and white. What could it be? Any guesses? Oh, look on the side. Oh, can you guess what it could be? It's coming across. Yeah, I think you've got it. Well done. It is a swan. Oh, brilliant. Well done, everyone. That was so good. You guessed that really well. Yep, it was a swan, Charlotte. You're right. Brilliant. You all guessed really well with those close-up pictures, close-up things. It's hard to see, isn't it, when they're really close and blurry? But well done, everyone. Good guessing. So that's our game for today. And I will check back and see who got the most answers right and tell you who the winner is tomorrow. So, brilliant. Well, your challenge today was to make a name and decorate it so it was unique. So I have got some of those on here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see Michael and Emma with theirs? Yeah, it's hard to see on my phone, isn't it? So I have got some pictures and you can see that was Stephanie's. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And we've got Kayla's. I got loads. And Carly Rose's. Well done. And we have got Charlotte's. Beautiful. And Nathaniel. Oh, good job. I'm shining my window at you. There you go. Good one. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Kyan. Arias. Imogen's, well done Imogen, beautiful. And then we've got Jackson's and Casey's and Gracie, well done Gracie and Shania's. So some beautiful pictures there, thank you for sending them in. I really enjoyed seeing those. So that was your challenge because we're talking this week about how we're amazing, unique and special to God. So let's say our apex truth together. Are you ready? Remembering the signs? I'm amazing, unique, so special to you. Well done. We are learning that we are special, unique and amazing. And so yesterday we were talking about what that means to be amazing and unique and special. And today I thought I would tell you about my favourite Bible verse. Now my favourite Bible verse is in psalms 139 and in psalm 139 verse 13 and 14 it says for you created my inmost being you knit me together in my mother's womb i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful i know that full well and that's my favourite verse. And you know what? I noticed it says in there, you knit me together in my mummy's tummy. So has anyone ever tried knitting before? It can be quite tricky. I've got some knitting here with me. Here's some knitting. And 
when we knit, we have to take every single stitch and we have to knit it. So we have to put the needle into the stitch, we have to go round, we have to go through and then we take it off and then we've got a new stitch. And then we've got to do the same with the next stitch. Yep, Charlotte, you've tried knitting. Yeah, Stephanie as well. And we've got the next stitch. And then we've got to do it that. And we've got to do, oh, lots of you have done knitting. Olivia as well. Lots and lots of stitches. Now, we can't just miss a stitch and not bother knitting it. Because then it wouldn't be part of it. We've got to keep on knitting every single stitch. Now, we can keep on going. Yep, so Casey, your grandma's tried with you. It is quite tricky to get the hang of it. I used to do quite a lot of knitting um, before I was married and had kids. I don't think I've done any knitting since. So we have to knit every single stitch. And it said in our Bible verse that God knit us together. Now, I don't think God used wool to make us, but he did do knit every single part of us. He didn't miss a bit out. He did every single bit. Do you think it's boring, Olivia? Well, it can be until you actually see something created. It's like when you're colouring in, that can be boring. But when you see the whole picture at the end, it's really good. And if we just look at one stitch, that's a bit boring. But if we look at the whole thing, it becomes something amazing. And that's what God did. He didn't just put this together just a little bit, he knitted every single bit of us. He put every single little bit of us in place, our insides, our outsides, and who we are. And that's what he did. So I have knitted here a scarecrow and every little bit of him has been knitted. So you're right, Olivia, knitting him was boring, but I think he's pretty cool. So at the end of all my hard work of knitting, we were talking about being knitted together, weren't we? Now, the other bit in that, in the passage, is a bit strange. Hi, Shania. Is, it says, I pray because I'm fearfully made. Now, are we fearfully made? Are we scary? Is that what it means? No, it doesn't actually mean fearfully as in scary. It means so, so, wow, so amazing that it's just, it's just awesome. It just makes you just go, oh, that's what fearfully means. You see, can you remember back at the beginning of the Bible, right at the start, when God made Adam and Eve? Can you remember? It make them in the image of who did he make them like who did he make us like that's right he made us in the image of god he made us in his image hi olivia good to see you back sorry about that okay so it says we are fearfully made because we are made in the image of god and that is what makes us go oh you know there's nothing else, nothing else that God made, was made in his image. The birds, the animals, the plants, the seas, they're all pretty amazing. But they're not fearfully made. They're not made in God's image. They're not, oh, you know, God actually breathed inside Adam and Eve. And he can live in us. And that's why we are fearfully made. We're not like anything else in creation. We have been made like God. That is amazing and that is wonderful. So, remember it said in our verse that you knit me together in my mother's womb. That means in your tummy, in her tummy. And I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's see if we can say that together. It was from Psalms 139 verse 13 and 14. And it said, say it with me, you knit me together. Yeah. 
in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Brilliant. Well done. I want you to remember that. And next time you look in the mirror, or maybe today, if you go and look in the mirror, you can say to yourself right in the mirror, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You can say that to yourself because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's why our apex truth is I'm amazing, unique, and special to you. Let's do that together. I'm amazing, unique, and special to you. Brilliant. Well done. Let's pray. And then I am going to tell you what your challenge is for tomorrow. Are you ready? Let's close our eyes. Dear God, thank you that you knit me together in my mother's womb. Help me to remember every day to praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Well done, everyone. I am sorry for the breakup today. Seb, you managed it. Brilliant. Do you think you can manage it from the beginning? This is a tricky one. So some of you haven't been here from the beginning, so that might be hard. So you can join in which bit you know. But we have now got eight apex truths that we have learnt. So well done. So number one is, I'm not going to worry, I'm going to pray. Because Jesus is my king, I'll praise him every day. For me, he died and rose again. I give my life to him. When I am weak, he is strong. With him, I'll always win. God's word, I'll hide in my heart. I'm a member of his body. I will do my part. I'm chosen, forgiven and made brand new. I'm amazing, unique, so special to you. Brilliant. Well done all of those that managed that. You did really well. Eight apex truths you've learnt in the last eight weeks. So, I am going to leave you for today, but thank you for joining me. Your challenge today is you have to go and hide some treasure somewhere. And then you have to make a map so that you can help somebody else find it. So you have to make a treasure map. So you can do a treasure map to find the treasure. Okay, so I'd like you to make some treasure maps. Thank you for joining me today. Sorry about the break in, in the live. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.